Welcome everyone, FarmerCop here today. In this video, we're going to go over everything you need to know about growing corn and growing sunflowers. So if this is what you are looking for today, please stay tuned. All right, welcome. So as I mentioned today, we're going to go over everything you need to know about growing corn and growing sunflowers. So here planted here, I have corn for you. So uh, the different states of a field leading up to harvesting corn is going to be right here laid out for you. So first, this is just a cultivated field. Here is some corn that is planted. Here is corn in its first growth stage. Here is corn in its second growth stage. And then here is its uh, third growth stage. And here, if you're going to harvest with a forage harvester, it is an option to harvest here. Um, however, I do believe you get right around the same amount as if you wait to here as well. But just be aware if you're doing forage that you can harvest here, but we're not going to go over forage today or doing silage or anything like that. We're going to save that for a future video. But over here you have your corn ready to go and ready to harvest. Um, so very similar to sunflowers once it dries out and gets kind of in this sort of state, it is ready to be harvested. So all in all, corn is actually very, very... Uh, easy to grow and so is sunflower so and I'll kind of explain that as well as we go so the equipment needed is very limited so the equipment to grow sunflowers or corn is very simple and today in this video I'm going to kind of divide the process of producing corn and producing sunflowers into four different tiers so tier one is going to be field prep tier two is going to be planting tier three is going to be field care and tier four is going to be field harvesting so Tier three, field care, is completely optional. You can still get a harvest of these crops without doing anything in tier three. Tier one, tier two, and tier four are required, however. Um, so if we look at tier one, so tier one here I have as a minimum requirement, you need a cultivator, which in new farmer mode, you'll often start with one of these. So you already have that minimum requirement set and good to go. However, this one is kind of weird with tier one where you need this or one of the other two. So you can either have a cultivator or a subsoiler or a plow. However, also looking at the bare minimum stuff here, this will not count for plowing. So if you have a field that requires plowing and you want to get the best yield possible, you do require either a subsoiler or a plow. However, even without that, you're just going to see a little bit of a deficit in your harvest. So it's completely possible to grow these crops with just a cultivator. All right, so stepping up here to tier two, tier two is very simple. There's only one machine you need, and that's some kind of planter. So any kind of planter will do for this. This one specifically can actually fertilize while it plants. So if you want to kind of roll in a little bit of tier three uh, field care right off in the beginning, you can do that with one of these here. Um, so, and also too, just another note, if you want to check out my video, I'll put a link up there on the upper right hand corner. Uh, to take a look at uh, seeders and planters. And also I have another video out about cultivators and preparing your field. So if you're curious about how subsoilers, plows, and everything like that work, you can go and check that video out as well. And I'll put a link to that in the description. So all you need here is a planter. So any kind of planter do, this is a fairly nice planter, but you don't need one. Um, however, a lot of times in new farmer mode, you don't start with a planter, you start with a seeder. So this may be something you have to purchase if you wanna get going right off the bat with it. Um, so moving up to tier three, again, tier three, everything's over here because it's optional and there are more equipment than just this located in tier three. But here I have a fertilizer that can also spread uh, herbicide as well. So that would take care of weeding and fertilizing as needed. This can spread lime or fertilizer. So you can take care of fertilizing and liming. So again, liming's not required. Fertilizing's not required. Herbicide's not required. Uh, if you're playing with weeds off, you can disregard herbicide. But if you're playing with weeds on, it will cause your crops to uh, potentially have weeds and have a lower harvest yield because of it. And then finally, tier four is also very basic. All you need um, here is some form of harvester. Typically, you will want to use a corn header. Uh, it's typically what's used. However, if you're doing sunflowers, you can use a what's called a heliantis header. And we'll demonstrate that um, a little later in this video when we do actual harvest here a little bit with these crops. So that is an option for it is to do a helianthus header. Um, it does not improve your yield at all. All it does is speed up the process. So a corn header here or a row header here will uh, harvest at six miles per hour. However, the helianthus header will harvest at nine miles per hour. So if you're just going to end up doing sunflowers over and over again, uh, you might as well invest the extra money into the helianthus header because it'll speed up your harvest a little bit. Otherwise, you can use this because this will work on sunflowers or corn. So it's a little bit of a dual purpose. And again, doesn't improve your yield one way or the other. So what we'll do today in this video, now that we've kind of gone over the equipment, is we're going to take field, I believe this is field 12 here, and we're going to take field 12, we're going to plant 
about probably a row or two of sunflowers and a row or two of corn. And then we're going to take care of those and get the best yield possible out of it. And I'll kind of walk you through the steps as we go. Um, so right now, if we go into our map, here is field 12 here. So you see it does need plowing as indicated by the red box. So if we turn that off, um, it already has a fertilizer state on it. So we only have to add one and we won't worry about that right now. And then the other thing I want to note here is that it does not require lime. So we're not going to worry about liming today. But what we are going to do, even though it's already uh, cultivated, we're going to go ahead and take our subsoiler and subsoil this whole field real quick, or at least the section needed um, for us to grow our couple of rows of sunflowers and our couple of rows of corn. So I'm going to go ahead and get going with that. All right, now we have this field plowed. We're gonna go ahead and hire a worker here. We're gonna let them plant two rows, so two widths of this specific planter of corn, and then I will uh, change the seed over to sunflower and then do two rows of sunflower, and we will see what we get. All right, folks, so I have corn planted on the left and a sunflowers planted on the right. So if we go into our map here, we'll go in here and look that I guess he missed a little chunk there, but no plowing is required. And these guys actually are already completely fertilized. So we have two states of fertilizer on here. So what we're going to keep out for, and again, it does not require lime. So what we're going to keep an eye out for is weeds right now. Right now we have none. Um, so I think that's the only kind of a tier three item for field care that's left to do on this field since uh, lime's already been done, plowing's done, fertilizing is done. So we'll just keep an eye on it and make sure we don't need to do that. But yeah, so I'll keep an eye on it and I'll be back with you once something happens. All right, so we didn't have to deal with any weeds, so our corn and our sunflowers are ready to harvest. So here I have a New Holland Combine or Harvester with a corn header, and then over there I have one with a Heliantis header. And again, as I mentioned earlier, the Heliantis header will get the same yield out of that field um, as if it was a corn header. However, it will be able to go three miles per hour faster. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is hire a worker to do this guy, and then I'm going to move over here and hire one to do this. So we'll start to watch as they go. Um, this harvester should surpass that one pretty quickly so there you have it that one started sooner and this one's already starting to pass it you see down there in the corner that is our working speed of nine miles per hour so what i'll do is i will let these guys get to work and then i have two trailers here i'll load one with the corn one with the sunflowers just in case you're curious so you can see how much we're going to get as a yield out of these two fields that have uh lime was put on them they were plowed they were uh, fertilized the two states and didn't have any weed issues. So we'll show you kind of what the max yield would be for these two little strips of land. Again, this is going to be um, two little planted strips that is on field 12 in Ravenport. So I will let these guys get going and I will be back with you. So for sunflowers, of course, sunflowers did finish harvesting first, but for that sunflower stretch, we got 6,007 liters of sunflowers. So not surprising. That was a fairly large area. Uh, sunflowers are not what I would call a high yield item. They're a low yield, high price item. So they cost a little bit more and you get a lot more when you sell them, but you don't get as much out of the fields. And then next up for corn, we have around 10,631 liters. So a uh, significant amount more of corn and of course corn did take a lot longer to harvest this than the uh, sunflowers since the sunflowers are using a helianthus header um, however another thing to note too just in case you're wondering how much exactly or how wide that swath was i was using a nine meter uh, width working with cedar or planter um, so uh, nine times two would be 18 meters so that was approximately 18 meters of corn down field 12 in ravenport and approximately 12 meters of sunflowers down field 12 in um ravenport as well so um that's what you have for you about 18 meters each um anyhow i think that's going to wrap up this video uh so sunflowers and corn aren't too hard to work with um they're pretty easy so again if you like this video please hit that like button down at the bottom and feel free to subscribe so you don't miss any further videos uh this has been farmer cop guys and thank you for watching have a wonderful day